Hey guys, so it is time for a what's on my phone video. So I uh, recently crossed 200k subscriber uh, mark here. So I want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you. It's amazing. This literally has been the best year for me as far as YouTube subscriber and views goes, you know. Uh, we were at 100k subscriber five months ago and five months later we are now at 200k so again big thanks to uh, all of you guys so yeah uh, today I'll be showing you guys what's on my phone so first off I get this question asked a lot of time uh, that which is my main phone so currently uh, this is my main phone this is the one plus three so I'm using this pigeon case uh on top of it this phone costs 400 dollars, and for for that money you get top-notch specs snapdragon 820 6 gigs of ram 64 gigs of internal memory uh great camera uh both on front and back and very close to stock android look here with their software so uh first of all i'm actually using a launcher if i talk about you know the launcher that i have which is the pixel launcher that you will see on the Pixel phones. Uh, I did a separate video uh, for the Pixel launcher, did a full review and also provided you a link in the description, description uh, from which you can download the, uh, the, the launcher. Uh, so it's not available on Play Store, so you have to download it uh, via external source. So yeah, you can check that uh, video out. And uh, you can see right on home screen, I have nothing here, of course, some folders. Uh, this is my main home screen where I have this Google uh, Google thing here, Google Now, of course, a part of Pixel Launcher. I have one folder here on my main home screen, then swiping uh, here to the right, we got uh, the uh, fo uh, two more folders, and then I have another folder in the third page, on the third page. So, and at the dock area, I just got very simple applications, so we got the the phone dialer, we got the uh, default messenger, uh, Google Chrome is still the best browser, uh, you, you know, it's, it's download manager is great, it's, it's, it's really good, you know, when I'm downloading stuff, I can see the speed and everything, you got Play Store, of course, and the camera, which uh, I use every day, so I need it here, I also use Play Store every day, these three are like the most, you know, used stuff here, so I keep, actually, all these Five applications at the dock are dock are the most used, you know, basic stuff. So I have it here so that I can instantly launch them. So uh, first folder I have here is called as dope. Uh, it's just a random name. I got some some of my most used applications. Uh, we got the YouTube here first off, then Twitter, then we got WhatsApp, Instagram. It's the basic stuff here. File manager, of course, I need it because sometimes I download stuff uh, from Google Chrome browser, so I have to check that out. Got gallery where I, I can see all my photos. I got keep where I, you know, make notes uh, about usually about what things I have to uh, do in, in, in a day. And then I got Gmail to check all my mails and everything. Calculator, uh, Yahoo Mail for check uh, mails in my Yahoo account. And then I got pages manager, a music application. Uh, and then we got the Snapchat, which I don't use. Then I got the Huawei HiLink application, which shows me the stats about my uh, internet connection. Then Zedge uh, for wallpapers. A lot of people ask me about wallpapers. So this is the application that I use. Lots and lots of free uh, things we have. You can even download uh, ringtones so, and lots of categories we have. So uh, one of the best wallpaper applications. I got Cura, which is a pretty fun forum type app, uh, application. You know, you can see a lot of stuff. You can search about things. You know, it's it's great. And and then I also have another page. Where I got uh, the Studio. This is a YouTube Studio application, which I use to interact with you guys, see all the comments, views, and everything. And then I got Playbooks, uh, which is great because I started reading some books. So uh, yeah, this is great. I, I you know you can download biographies everything this is the playbook okay it's pretty great and then i have on the second page got two more folders this is photo editing folder i made so got some of my uh applications photo editing applications that i have first off i got prisma uh everyone knows about this application it works fine you know uh, it creates kind of like painting so it's great got lightroom also for editing then i got the adobe clip which is like a 
like iMovie, you know, you can make short films, so it provides you all the basic tools you need in order to make quick videos, you know, so it's, it's great. And I sometimes use it when I have to make a video on Instagram. Uh, I got Snapseed, uh, which is a really good uh, editor. So I'm just going to open a photo. So you can see we got lots of lots of options here. So first off, uh, we have this thing here called as tune image. So you can tune the image. Obviously, you got details. You can crop, rotate, tons of stuff. Then down here, you got the filters which you can apply. So for example, if I'm going to apply this one, you can see it kind of creates the effect here. Then I can also ch uh, change its strength and swipe up and down for saturation and everything. So it works really fine. One of the best applications for editing your picture. Snapseed, great application we have here. Then we have Pixlr, which is also a great app for uh, effects. You know, comes with a lot of lots, lots of effects. You can swipe here. So you can, you know, see the real time preview of all the effects it works great. So we got Facetune. This app actually cost, uh, I think $1 something on Play Store, but it's absolutely worth it. It gives you a lot of features uh, to, you know, just like filters and everything. You can create uh, really powerful edited images with this application. So yeah, I do use it to edit my pictures. I think out of them, I think I use Facetune and Snapseed a lot. Uh, then we got the uh, emulator, emulator, whatever. So this is the folder where I have all the emulators. We got, uh, first off, we got the Atari uh, 2600 emulator. Then we have PlayStation 1 uh, emulator, EPSXC. In my opinion, it's the best emulator for PlayStation 1 games. Uh, I only have like one game uh, at the moment this uh, I think like a Batman game I don't know but I will be installing more games and uh, uh, let me know if you want to see like some gameplays uh, I was thinking about doing some videos you know I might do it but but yeah this is the game that I have currently I will be installing some more cool PlayStation 1 games of course um, I have played PlayStation 1 a lot when I was a child so uh, we got Neo. I don't use that one a lot, but I do have it. And then we got the NES emulator. This is the pro version that I have. Um, it's definitely worth it compared to the free version because there are no ads or everything. It works fine without internet connection, you know. So I played this these games a lot. These these were the game that I uh, that I was playing a lot when I was a child. So got Hudson Adventure Island here, and I got Super Mario Bros. Uh, which is like the best Mario ever, the most famous ever. So I'm just going to show you how this thing works, you know. So you can see that you can save game. You can also load games, you know, whenever your character dies. So I guess you got controls very similar to the original, I think, Game Boy, whatever, uh, or Sega, you know. So uh, it's, it's working absolutely fine. No lag whatsoever. One plus three is killing it. I mean, I love this game. It's really addictive. So yeah, uh, these are the emulators, emulators I have. And also I have my GBA and PlayStation Portable emulator. So I did manage to install um, Taken 6 on this one. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys that uh, this game does work. Uh, it was quite, quite astonishing, you can say. Because, I mean, PlayStation Portable games are really good and they work really well on, uh, on, on Android devices. I, I mean, this, isn't, this is still developing, but look at this. It's still working fine. Uh, I mean, this is pretty playable. So I think it needs a little bit more uh, improvement. Then we'll see more smoothness. So you can see I have this Lee here, Lee character. This is my favorite character, you know, uh, versus King. I'm pretty sure almost everyone have, have played this game at some point in their life. So I love it. Uh, I love this Lee, you know, it has some really nice moves. So, and the audio is like a little bit bad, you know, so it's like a little bit bad audio, like some, you can, you can probably hear some distortion, but so again, uh, some more improvement needs with this application, and then it should be able to play games more smoothly. So, uh, and on to the final page where I had the folder for all the games that I have. So these are uh, the games I have on my phone. So uh, you can see first off, we got like Dream League, then FIFA 16, Color Switch, 
Hopeless 2, uh, Dash to Puff 2, OZ Kingdom. This is a game that Apple, um, I think Apple, yeah, Apple did uh, show this game in their keynote while announcing the iPhone 7. So let me know if you want to see uh, a game video, must-have game video. I will do that for you. And then I got Gangster 4, Modern Combat 5, WWE Immortals, Loop, Zombie High, Subway Surfer, Slither, Slither.io. This is the game that I play quite a lot. Compared to all the other games, I got Plong vs. Zombie 2, I got Temple Run 2, Smash Hit, and then on the next page, I got Pac Man, Stack, Need for Speed No, no Limit, Asphalt 8. I also play Asphalt, Asphalt 8 a lot. Then I got Riptide, uh, Riptide GP. This is the latest version, it's uh, high graphical, and my phone uh, is able to handle this game easily. I do play it. And then I got NBA 2K17 and WB2K. These are the two games that I recently bought off the Play Store. So, NBA 2K17, it costs around $8, $7.99. It's pretty worth it because the graphics are amazing. Uh, I don't watch basketball a lot, but it's amazing. It, uh, the game graphics are amazing. So uh, I will make a video of this, you know, showcasing, showcasing this game on uh, all, on my phones, you know, show you guys the gameplay. Then I got WB2K. This is probably the best WB game ever made for Android or like mobile platform. Graphics are great. Got uh, this game, uh, Sonic Surge 2. Then I got FIFA 17 Companion. Uh, this uh, with, with this app, I am able to handle all my you know FIFA 17 coins and you know buying players and everything. So it's a companion app, and they got Shadowfy that I also recently installed, which is also great. Sometime I play it, but yeah, I mean these this is like the whole setup I have in total. I have installed around 107 or 108 application on my OnePlus 3, and. Uh, I have like almost 25 gigabyte of data available out of 56, 57 or whatever the total amount, it, the amount is on this phone. And it is still a beast. I haven't seen this phone getting slow or anything like that. I haven't seen Pixel Launcher lagging or having any problem. I mean, OnePlus 3 is the beast and I'm not going to be switching to any phone in the near future. But the best thing about this phone is that it supports dash charging, which is incredibly fast. And even though sometimes I forget to charge my phone in nighttime, uh, but uh, once I get up, I just charge it for like 20 minutes and charge it up to like 45, 50 instantly. So it's amazing. I mean, dash charging is amazing and it's actually better than Samsung's fast charging. So yeah, OnePlus 3 is my main boss phone. And again, thank you so much for 200K subscribers. I hope to go to the next level and I will continue to work hard every uh, every day. You know, consistency is the key to success. And uh, thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.